All right, hey, we're back here at Mogul Sports Pub Midway on the Killington Road. On the right as you come up, well, I'm speaking with Linda and Sal. Sal, of course, the proprietor of Mogul Sports Pub, and Linda, of course, the woman who actually makes the place work. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> Maybe you would, but I don't know if you would. The Sal slave, as I call it. Sal slave. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, I do everything he asks me to do. Is that right? <laughs> Almost everything, we hope. Listen, we are here to have a good time at Happy Hour here, filming on a Thursday, as we always do. Uh, Linda, tell us a little bit about what we can expect when we come here to Moguls on any given day. Any given day, we have pool tables, we have a game center downstairs, of course, all of our televisions to show whatever sports events are on, Super Bowl coming up, Olympics coming up, so... Always something to watch here at Moguls. Lots of stuff. Now, you mentioned the uh, the Game Center. Uh, Sal, I know you put in a lot of money into this place this summer. You had our boy Feb up here running a, a crew of uh, probably two dozen carpenters, I think. And you've put a huge game room. You know, it's not even a game room. That doesn't do it justice. And a brand-new dining room up here. Yeah, we spent the summer keeping busy with the boys. You know, we put in a new family fun center downstairs. It's got probably 20, 30 different uh, arcade games. Then we put in a new dining room, rebuilt the miniature golf course for the summer activities. But we also doing live entertainment, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. You know, so we, we keep them busy. We replaced all the TVs this year, so it's uh, making it a better experience for the, uh, the customer that comes in. Yeah, you actually got some uh, nice uh, modern flat screen TVs up here. And how many you got? What's the latest count, you know? I believe you know. I don't even know if you know. I actually believe the count is 23. Three TVs. So we've got the Super Bowl. It's this uh, this come Sunday here, but we've got the Olympics that are coming up too. Well, we have the real Olympics, and then on February 20th, which is a Thursday, start of Jack Week, we have the Jack Daniels Olympics. Most importantly, so hopefully a lot of locals will come in and join. Some crazy games, some turkey bowling, some stuff. I don't know if uh, we want to let out yet. Oh yeah, we got to let it all out. You know, we're gonna do a curling court out back, so it's gonna be just like uh, the Olympics. We got Team Canada bringing down some of the uh, utensils for the uh, curling. We got the turkey shot put, so we got some uh, fun stuff coming up for Jack Week. I know we got Rick Reddington playing yep. uh, one or two nights, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. So our, our own version of the Olympics right here in Killington. Oh, yeah, the, cra the crazy Olympics. The, the real Olympics. Uh, you got gold medals mi minted yet? or? Uh... We're getting there. We're getting there. Excellent. Sounds good. Can I participate? Of course. Everybody, everybody. The more the merry. Everybody's welcome to join. And that's that Thursday on the 20th of February. You know, come up with your team at 3 o'clock, sign up, and we're going to put you in all kinds of fun activities and let the mayhem begin. <laughs> I love mayhem. That's my middle name. That's why I came to Moguls for the mayhem. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, family fun place. Bring the kids. We got the game room downstairs. Uh, we got TVs, 23 of them, last count. There's no reason why you shouldn't be up to Moguls. I'm going to give Sal the last word. Sal, last word for you. Ski you there. Ski you there. Hey, I see Caitlin. She's across the bar here. Let's send it over to her. Hey, everybody. We made it inside to Moguls, and right now we're just waiting on our food and drinks, but we were able to catch up with Michael, who is known as one of Killington's favorite patrons, and you work down in um, which, what's called Evolution Free Ride, which is part of Basin, if those of you don't know. Now, tell me about what you do there. Um, well, Evolution Free Ride is a free ride shop in Killington, really one of the only core free ride shops. We're all about twin tips, powder skis, all the new cool stuff um, for all ages. Um, and uh, we're getting really excited. We're start, starting to get to the middle of the season, so we're going to see what's going to come up. Hopefully you get, we get a lot more snow, stuff like that, and we can have more fun out in the trees. Uh, my my kind of favorite place to stay up on Killington. But. It's so nice in the trees. Yeah. You feel like you're in your own little world. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, you get to see the scenery. I don't have all the people. It's great. That's my, my jam. <laughs> now, what's your favorite part about working there? Oh, well, my favorite part about working at the Basin is we're all about selling fun and not about selling a product. I don't, I don't care about the numbers. I, I care about people having as much fun as I do out on the hill, and that's what I want to give to the customer. You know? It's a really cool vibe. I don't know if you guys have not been to Basin yet. You need to check it out. You guys are so amazing there. Everybody's really welcoming, but it's not like a pushy sales pitch, right. and we really appreciate that as people that are buying because we want to be able to look through these and have fun, and, you know, there's so much going on in there that it's cool that people are also there to answer any of your questions, which I've always loved. So yeah, that's that's my favorite part about where you work. Now, a little bit about skiing, and I know you're a pretty good skier. Tell me about your season so far. Well, my season so far has been pretty good. I've had like three, uh, you know, I would call epic days for this season. 
I mean, as far as last season, we're, we're lacking a little bit in the snow, but it's... Uh, it's still early, though. We've got time. We, we still got some time. We're praying to the snow gods, so we'll be all right. We, I, I'm thinking it's going to be good. The end of this week looks really, really good out there. So totally. uh, warming up a little bit, get it above, uh, getting the double digits might be nice. <laughs> Definitely. Now, you're a Killington local. Did you grow up here? I am a born and raised Killington local. I've lived up here my entire life. In fact, you're a rarity. I, you don't see many people like me. No, we have a lot of imports, yeah. including myself. And I've actually been working at the basin uh, since I could hold a job uh, at 16 years old. Wow, most people can't even hold a job at 35 years old, so that's pretty cool. Congratulations, I, my friend. I hope to be there for a very long time. It's kind of, uh, I think, my future. <laughs> I love it. You have a bright future for sure. Now, our last uh, question is going to be, what's your favorite part about Killington? Not necessarily the town, but the mountain itself. Uh, maybe a favorite run or a favorite thing to do. My favorite thing about Killington is, well, the nightlife, but the amount of skiing that we have here kind of exceeds a lot of the stuff that we get in the east. Uh, in the east. And uh, my, my favorite trail or anything like that would be anything that doesn't have a name. We got a lot of stuff that doesn't have names, and I'd like to keep it a secret. <laughs> All right, shh, we won't tell. <laughs> Any last famous words? Um, Viva La Killington. Viva La Killington, Viva La Moguls. You guys are going to see so much more after this, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey, Caitlin, we got our work cut out for us here at Mogul Sports Pub. You know, listen, there's no way that you and I could actually sit down and eat all this fantastic food. We got chicken wings, we got french fries, we got a pizza, we got uh, some uh, potato skins over here. I think that we need to share it, and I'm going to share it with you, Steve, behind the camera, and you, Corey, over here. We're going to share that with our, with the guys who really make the show come together, Steve and Corey behind the camera. That's and right. uh, That's But right. let's just suppose that I actually put the feedback on and I ate all this. Is there any hope for me? What can I do? There is hope for you, Slato, and we're going to talk more about that later on in the show. I'm actually going to give some of you a nutrition tip. If any of you are looking to follow maybe a more plant-based whole foods lifestyle, we'll talk about that later. But in the meantime... We've got Beth Roberts and Sarah who are going to talk about how you can work all this off. That's right, you can still eat it, get a workout in, and still look good while you enjoy yourself. So check that out now. And while you're checking that out, uh, Kate and I are going to work on this, and then we're going to see you up the road. We're headed to the lookout after this. <laughs> That's not your piece, Steve. <laughs>